Barakatay Yahoa, Barakatay Yahoa Shai, Call Halongim La, Yahoa, Bahasham, Yahoa Shai, Barakahakwadash, which means all praises to Yahoa is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham is in the name, Yahoa Shai is the name of his only begotten Son. Uh, Baruch HaKwadash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, the only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And I'm Lord willing, it's going to be a quick little lesson. You know, um, just meditating uh, through the Spirit. You know, yesterday I was at the gig, you know, and um, it's kind of like heavy in my thoughts, you know, and um. A group of brothers had hit me up on a group call, you know, because uh, they were having a um, they camp meeting. And um, long story short, man, they uplifted my spirits, man. You know, it, it, it's a beautiful thing, this brotherhood. You know, a, 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 us brothers that, that that's within this thing, man, utilize the brotherhood, man. It's, it, it, it's nothing like it, man. Call Halayim La. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. The water Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. For the brotherhood, for like minded men. You know, who lift up your spirits, man, who exhort you, who comfort you. And, 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 and man, it's, it's just a beautiful thing. So without further ado, this is uh, Proverbs, the 18th chapter and the 24th verse. It says, a man that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that stick closer than a brother, man. You know, the men you stand with on the line with, man, hey, 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 they're your true brothers, as it is written. Those that do the will of my father, the same as my brother, sister, and mother, you know. I trust these men with my life, man, more, more, more than my uh, uh, actual carnal brother who came out of the same loins as my father, man. You know, I don't trust them niggas as far as I can throw them. But these men that I stand next to the line with, man, these men that I labor with for uh, 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 years in and years out, man. These are the men that I would lay down my life for, man, because I truly wholeheartedly believe that they were laid down their life for me. As it is written, you know, no greater love than this than the man lay down his life for his friends. These men have sacrificed everything, man, for this ministry, for Yahweh, why Yahweh shall sake, and not only for them, but also for the brotherhood, man. It says, I endure all things for the elect's sake that they may obtain the same salvation. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture, you know. This is a marvelous, beautiful work that the Lord has called us unto. This is, um... Mark chapter 12 and verse 29. And Yahweh shall answer him, the first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our power is one Lord, which is in the Hebrew, Shammai, Yashallah, Yahweh, Allah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Achad. You see? Verse 30, and thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this. So the second is just like the first. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Because if you love in your how about Sham Yahweh Shah with all thy mind, whole body, and, and, and spirit, you're going to love your neighbor as yourself, man. Because the book of James says what, man? It says, how can you say you love the most high that you've never seen, but yet you hate your brother, which you do see every day, you know? The brotherhood is a beautiful thing, man. Cherish each and every moment of it. This is the book of, uh, Sirach. Chapter 4 and verse 7. Get thyself the love of the congregation and bow thy head to a great man. Get yourself the love of the congregation, man. That goes back to this Proverbs. It's Proverbs 18 and 24. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. You see? And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. This is Proverbs 17 and 17. A friend loveth at all times and a brother is born for adversity, man. So we are our brother's keepers, man. As it is written in the book of Ecclesiastes, the fourth chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Two is better than one. And a three, four chord is not quickly broken, man. The brotherhood uh, outside of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, this understanding, this knowledge that we have, man, the brotherhood is the most important thing upon this planet, man. 
Because a lot of the time, that's where you gain the experience and the understanding. You know? There's a scripture I wanted to hit in that mark, too. Let me go back to it. Um... Mark 12. It's this James. This is James 2 and 8. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. And what stuck out to me was this word royal. It's a royal law. It's the Greek word bas elikos. It says, of or belong to a king, kingly, royal, regal, of a man, the officer, or a minister of a prince, a courtier, subject to a king of a country, befitting or worthy of a king. Royal, man. You see? Preeminent kings, noblemen, royal. So this mindset that we have, man, amongst the brotherhood, is a royal, it's a kingly mentality to have. You see? Loving thy neighbor as thyself, man. Treating others as, as you want to be treated, as it is written in the book of uh, uh, Tobit. You know, man, let me get that too. Call all your how about sham y'all was shy. You know, uh, how is it worded? Um, because it, it speaks about uh, uh, what you would have men uh, 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 do to you, you do the same to them, roughly paraphrasing. Basically, uh, 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 you treat your neighbor as yourself, you know? I want to find it, man. Uh, my, my scripture's right here. Bear with me a little bit. Baba Kusha. I want to find that real fast. Um... Because I believe Tobit was uh, pretty much talking to Tobias before he left on the journey. This is uh, Tobit. Chapter 4. Let's start at 14. It says, Let not the wages of any man which hath wrought for thee tarry with thee, but give him it out of thy hand. For if thou serve the Most High, he will also repay thee. Be circumspect, be, be, blah, blah. be circumspect, my son, in all things thou doest, and be wise in all thy conversation. Do that to no man which thou hatest. See, uh, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Drink not wine to make thee drunken, neither let drunkenness go with thee in thy journey. Hey, hey so brothers, you know, hey, hey, when, hey, hey, it's best to get nice when you're at the crib. You know, it ain't, it ain't good to be drinking and then traveling around, man. It says, give of thy bread to the hungry and of thy garments to them that are naked. And according to thy abundance, give alms and let not thy eye be envious when thou giveth alms. Pour out thy bread on the burial of the just, but give nothing to the wicked. As counsel of all that are wise and despise not any counsel that is profitable. And because that's a mighty thing, man. Bless, uh, man. You know, we have brothers around us uh, who have the spirit of Yahweh shy upon them, man. Who we can ask, who, who, who we can go to ask counsel for. It says, do nothing without counsel. Bless the Lord thy power always, and desire of him that thy ways may be directed, and that all thy paths and counsels may prosper, for every nation hath not counsel. And it says what, man? Uh, um, where, the, uh, where is the multitude of counselors, the city is established. Where no counsel is, the city perish. Roughly paraphrasing. In the book of Proverbs, man. So it's the heavy thing that we have the brotherhood, man. Starting with the apostles on down. It says, for every nation hath not counsel, but the Lord himself giveth all good things, and he humbleth whom he will as he will. Now, therefore, my son, remember my commandment, neither let them be put out of thy mind. You know? So from now, I'm going to go to uh, Sirach 6. And, um... Verse 14, it says, a faithful friend is a strong defense, and he that hath found such a one hath found a treasure, man. Man, 
Nothing doeth countervail a faithful friend, and his excellency is invaluable. The, the, the brother, there is no price on a brotherhood, man. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright, for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also, man. You know? And that's why Paul wrote and said, the, the more I love, the less I be loved. Why? Because he go hard upon himself. He 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 correct himself and, 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 and have such um, heavy pressure upon himself just so he can uh, correct the brotherhood, man. You know? And, 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 and I, I strive to embody that. Like, I'm, I'm hard on myself, you know, to make sure that I'm doing the things that's necessary for me to do in order to uh, 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 to be a guide or, or to lead my brothers by example, man. Because how can I correct my brother or say something to my brother if I'm not doing those same things? I am my brother's keeper. That's where Cain failed at, man. He killed his brother. Why? Because he was mad because his works were, because uh, Abel's works was good and his was evil. Don't be jealous or envious of a brother, man. Examine yourself and go hard. Emulate that brother, man. Or imitate, emulate, emulation. I think that goes back to envy, you know? Imitate, strive to be like that brother, man. The things that, that, that you see that, 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 that's prospering in him, utilize it according to your spirit. Apply it according to your spirit. Sirach 6 and 17, Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright, for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. I'm going to end it on this. This is Sirach 7, verse 18. Change not a friend for any good by no means, neither a faithful brother for the gold of Ophir. So there's, there is nothing to be compared to the brotherhood, man, and the men that's, that's standing next to you, you know? So he that have friends must show himself friendly. So you, you must apply these words, man, and, and, and it's going to be rendered back unto you. That's why Sirach says what? Be continually with a godly man, one that have a mind like thee, you know? So Lord willing, I hope that was edifying. I give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baracha HaKwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to all you brothers who preach in the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity, you know? And to water Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai for the brotherhood, to water to, uh, uh, to each and every last brother who sincerely, you know, striving to do what's right, you know, in the eyes of, uh, of your brothers, in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, you know, this whole totality of the ministry that, that the Lord has uh, uh, placed us into, you know, I'm going to end it on that. I know I said that Sirach would be the last scripture, but the Spirit just gave me something else. Um... I G N. There it is. I know it's in the book of Peter. This is uh First Peter one and twenty two. It says, "Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit, right? Because the true worshippers are going to worship the Father in spirit and in truth. That's what according to the Scriptures, according to the Word, according to the Spirit of Yahweh Shah, which He come in the volume of the book. You see." You're going to obey the words that's written within these pages, man. Seeing you have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. That word unfeigned, undisguised, meaning sincere, you know. Not no fake bullshit, man, but 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 truly and sincerely loving each and every brother who prays and call upon the name of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly, man. Rabaha la atham to all y'all, man. You know? Much love to y'all. Call Halalim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakha Shalom, Lord willingness was edifying. Shalom, brothers.